this old woman who's plastered just lying around <laughs> the houses of Italy <laughs> with a wicked buzz. <laughs> Flip it all over the place. Yeah. Like the <laughs> and then by like the, the like 10th house, she's vomiting. Yeah, yeah. The deck she, in. she rocks up and she's singing Wonderwall. La Bufana. All right, so La Bufana writes in, uh, is it time for a divorce? Mm-hmm. So this person has written out their points. Uh, they've written out their first like arguments in point form. Okay. Number one, I'm married for eight years, have one child with my husband. Number two, when we started dating, he was very clear that he had donated donated sperm in the past. Mm-hmm. Number okay. three, I never asked him how much, but just assumed it was just a couple of kids. Buckets. How many liters? They called me Kobe. How do you ask how much? Like, how many times have you gone and donated? Well, you, do you will say. Yeah. You will. Yeah. You will Point four will explain it all. Okay. Number four. I actually asked him last week and he tells me the fertility centers last updated him at 47 kids. Oh. I was not expecting that many. Whoa. It's clearly my fault for not asking how many. At the time, I literally said I didn't care about his sperm donation and didn't want to know. So I can't blame him for not telling me how many. I literally told him not to. But 47? Christ. I can't stop thinking about all the problems this will cause when we're older. Um... Am I wrong in wanting to divorce him about something he was very upfront about? Uh, I also should mention, mention all the kids are legally entitled to his contact details when they turn 18. Mm. La Bufana. Mm. La Bufana seems to be married to uh, Genghis Khan over there. Yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> kids everywhere. Kids, kids everywhere. everywhere. Genghis Khan went to the sperm bank all the time. <laughs> Back um, in the day. Okay. So first things first, what is the incentive to donate sperm? Do I was I was looking this well? up. Yes, I, I I was like I'm sure we're gonna probably wonder <laughs> how like, much I get. Paid. I get the Range Rover. <laughs> 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 it's a full time job. For that's, me. that's not his his full time job. is just jacking yeah, off. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay, so the first one thing I was curious about is one like when do they cut you off as well? Like you've had enough, mate. <laughs> <laughs> when does the sperm back like you've had enough? Yeah, so the fridge is full of your seed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can't move it. <laughs> so it's no good. But Nobody maybe, wants if it. If they've got forty seven kids, they're like oh mate, keep it. Coming, yeah. yeah, we're running. Low. But do you, do you, similar to like blood banks, how like if you got like some really rare, some like primo sperm, <laughs> some yeah, primo sperm, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Maybe like you six come back foot four, six foot four, well, got like this. Yeah. I play ball. I was wondering about like what are their classifications for people, and sure. essentially like you have to be within a certain height. Like five seven is generally. The, oh. small, the, the shortest they want really? somebody. Really? Then they kind of want uh, a certain amount of body fat. They don't want no pillow, baby. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the whole... I guess when you think about it, as a sperm bank, they're probably like... They want their clients to have attractive kids, right? Okay, yeah. So they probably want somebody who's reasonably attractive. Yeah. Not a dumber. <laughs> <laughs> they essentially they, test they, them. IQ test? I, I, I'm not sure. I think some do IQ tests. Is that I, genetic, though? Uh, is, is, I reckon some, hmm. there's some certain smarts that, that carry over to families I'd and say, stuff. Yeah, they must yeah I would imagine. Uh, so balding is definitely... Not in the probably not. I ain't no sign of bald sperm yeah. anywhere in these, in these. And another thing, uh, so this question from what I gathered from the comment section and stuff was American based. Yep. So I looked up what the kind of when they cut you off in America and Australia. Okay. Which is interesting. So the American one's a bit more loose, I would say. Yeah, right. So essentially, that uh, the guidelines limit a donor to twenty five live births per popula- population area of eight hundred fifty thousand people. So but it's going to travel the country. Yes. Like, <laughs> go state by yeah, state. Right. I'm off to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> Come. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it business and yeah. pleasure, sort of. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Yes. So, and essentially, it's like, uh, so, and it's not tracked that well. And it's likely that some donors have over 100 genetic children. Wow. Well, that's Whereas a lot of kids. in Australia, in Victoria, there is a limit of 10 families per donor. Okay. And in Western Australia, there's a limit of five per donor. Okay. That's like, yeah, so sort of like limiting puppy farming. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Um, Similar. Yeah, Similar. So it's, Similar. it's interesting, right? Wow, and wow. when it comes to money, like these, I didn't do a deep dive, so. You didn't call someone and ask for their rates? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is Saturday rate. got a surplus of sperm. I, 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 need, to move I just need to know how <laughs> much, to how much you can give me. Yeah. Yeah. For this high quality. Yeah, right. Look so at these the range. Look how big my balls are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the interesting thing was about it, and if people know more about this, please correct us. Please do. So you can probably get $100 or so $125 per donation. Okay. But the interesting thing that I thought was here that if you have like some quality sp- primo sperm, mm-hmm. they will kind of like sign you on and you can <laughs> 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 
the Kobe deal. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sponsored by Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> All these endorsement deals. Rocking up with sweat bands yeah. and like that kind of stuff. Don't ever get seen not wearing like Reebok gloves. <laughs> Reebok when gloves. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, free, like fucking sponsorship deals. When I come, yeah. ma- I'll make sure I'm wearing my Air Max 95. <laughs> so, like, my life. Yeah. Well. My life. <laughs> How many do you do? Like, <laughs> Thanks, Steve Wall. Um, but like... Brett Lee. So it's essentially like someone, Lee, someone yeah. crunched the numbers here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of the time, you, like, let's say hypothetically, you could go from 18 years old to 40 years old. That's yeah. kind of the cutoff date. Mm. So let's say you go for 22 years. Yeah. And you're working 12 months a year. Yeah. It's a lot of jizz. Yeah. That's $12,000. So it's $1,000 a month. Yeah. So realistically, if you work for 22 years, you could make $264,000 with all that baby batter you're making. Damn. Yeah. Damn. And here I am giving it away for free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're shortchanging yourself. What you're can right, I say, Marcus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So the question itself, though. Yes. Yeah. I thought I'd get all the facts yeah, out no, there no, before I, I we deep that. dive. I yeah. appreciate that. I think it's funny. Like I'm just trying to imagine. Like there's going to be a certain stage where the doorbell is going to be like ringing <laughs> 47 times. Yeah. Bing like dong. so many kids be like, "Daddy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> coming to this guy's the door." Phone just ringing off the yeah, hall. Yeah. Like there's going to be a stage uh, where it's just like, "Oh my god, here it is. it's for you. It's yeah. your, it's your son yeah. or your it, daughter. It's, it's son number 40." Yeah. But he's not entitled to do anything for them. He's just no. like, "Yeah, cool. That's me." Yeah, yeah. And I think one of the things the wife is probably focusing on that's not really. I, she might be thinking of it in a way that like. He personally impregnated forty-seven people. That's so true. Yeah. When really his sperm is just allowing these families who possibly weren't able to have kids. Like yep. he gave them the opportunity, essentially. Yeah. Yep. 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 So like I think that's probably a, another way to be looking at it as that's well. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I'm also looking like why did he need to go forty-seven times? That's well, maybe it's not, went, it's not it that, beats working. Not, it's, not, it's not that good. It's it <laughs> other things too. It beat working. Yeah. Um, but it's not even that worth it. I don't think. I mean, at the 47, same time... 47 by 100 bucks is like... Well, why do people don't have blood, though, Marcus? It's not about the money. Yeah. It's about giving life. Yeah, that's giving right. Life. Yeah, but blood, yeah, blood's different to semen. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know this or not. Thank you, Dr. I don't know if you know this or not, Tom. What do you mean? Like, one's, like, essential for saving lives. The other one is essential it's for... It's creating a... lives. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not against, I'm against it, for okay. sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm all for it. But it's... it's 47's a lot. Mm. I also think, though, he was upfront about it. He said to her, I am a sperm donor... I'm an open book. Yeah. She never asked how many kids, <laughs> nah. and now that she found out how many kids are there, she's got a problem. You're flipping it. the blame game. Yeah. Well, I think I kind of think he was he was upfront about it. Yeah, he he, he was. was like, "These these are the deets." Yeah. Mm. And she said, "I don't want to know about it." So that's well, on her. That's on her. Yeah, I agree. For me, it's like I'm a big deal in the sperm <laughs> donating world. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if you're married for eight years and have a kid, and all of a sudden this is a problem, I think you are looking for an out in your relationship. This I think is there the are only problems. thing that she's saying is bad. Like her bullet points were just like about this. It yeah. wasn't like you know we never we never talk anymore. We never. This is the only problem she's got, apparently, yeah, with apparently, the relationship. Yeah. Jeez, that's not enough, is and it? And when she says there's foreseeable problems, the only other problem I could think of is once my daughter grew up, because I had a, a, a kid, yeah. Yeah. I might be like, your future boyfriends, maybe get a DNA check. Yeah, right. Because you might be banging your that's, half-brother and yeah, have no idea. Yeah, that's With 47 true. kids out there, it's possible. Well, I don't know. I think there's, like, strange laws about, like, uh, incest in that way as well. Not incest, as far as like genetically, yeah. what is okay to have it diluted out? Mm. Would that be a problem? Uh, okay. Would a half be a problem? Not that I know. I don't know. I didn't do my research mm. on that. Damn it, Damien. You've got sorry. to do more research next time. Yeah, sorry. You did well, but not well enough. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, I don't think it's enough for her to sort of call it quits. If he's doing I this before th- her as well. I think what Damien said is right. She's looking for an out. Yeah, and if, that's, that's 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 me reading into it. Yeah, but I just think if he's a good dad mm. and he's a g- a good husband, mm. what's the problem? Yeah, yeah? Exactly. he was up front. Forty seven's a lot. Like it's a lot of kids. Yeah. But he's, he, only, he's but, only there for forty for, for one of his forty eight kids. That's yeah, exactly that's right. You know my, I mean? my question is: Has he been since they've been married? Uh, from what I gathered in the question, he's stopped doing it. Okay, well as then, in, that, in that case, like, I'm, I'm okay with it. So yeah. it's just like it's like yeah, I used to I used to do a I bit used of to this. Do it. I used to dabble in like so, a bit of robbery. Yeah, but now I'm a changed man. That's I've right. reformed. Yeah, and I don't do it anymore. Like Jesus said, forgive. Oh yeah, this is exactly that what Jesus quote was. from Jesus. <laughs> it's in the Bible. Bible. It's in the Bible. <laughs> He said it somewhere in the Bible. <laughs> Punches Bart's like, you know what, Jesus? Not as convincing as your other arguments. It's really, really just one word. Yeah. Crucify the I, bitch. I, I, the the full line is, I can forgive, but I never forget. <laughs> and then he kicked Judas in the chest. <laughs> no, well, if it's good enough for Mike, just do it. It's good enough for Jesus. Just forgive it. All right? Forgive it. Just forgive it. Oh, my God. 
Um, what do you think the the guy? How do you think the guy would react if she was going to be like, "I want a divorce"? <laughs> do you think he'd be like, I mean, "If you were the guy, I'd, I'd, I'd be I'd, shocked." I'd be in shock. Yeah, if for that's, sure. If that's the only reason, but. That's looking at it logically, and sometimes you've got to look at things maybe in relationships not lo- not as logical. You can't be as logical. Mm. In sometimes, that sometimes emotions get involved. Think, emotion and... is an important part of it, yeah. and yeah. that's maybe is an important factor. Do you think you'd want to meet all forty seven of your kids? Nah, nah, no. Nah. If, 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 I, if I'm donating it through the the clinic, yes. I'm not wanting to meet them. Yeah, you'd rather not. No. Yeah, okay. I guess like uh, that's not the uh, not the point of it. I guess no. he's not doing it to so he can be like, I'd love to see a whole bunch of little me's. Like, yeah, that's, that's true. That's 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 me. Yeah, right. We had to book out a restaurant function room because there's so many of us. <laughs> like, all the kids are like sleeper cells. Like yeah. he activates them with the word forgive <laughs> and then they, <laughs> they unlock <laughs> and take over the world. Yeah, I wonder if it. they all look like him. Like I know it's yeah. obviously like yeah. a half half thing, but I think if I if I found out like I was a product of IVF, like you know, in, like artificial insemination, yeah. I think I'd want to. Okay, I, would, I probably wouldn't want to be involved in my dad's life, but I'd probably want to know what they look like. I'd like, be curious to know what kind of person they are. I, I, I don't think that's IVF though. No, no it's, IVF. It's, sorry, yeah, I mean like, just like uh, like donation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. whatever um, you would call this. I think I would just want to know what they look like and what kind of person they <laughs> it's are. Like, it's like you've got a distinctive nose, and all these kids have this nose. Thanks for the nose, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you see them, you know. Yep, yeah, that's, yeah, that's my that's, kid. That's my boy. That's my boy. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's not fair for him. It's not fair. I think I think you need to. I don't think it's 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 grounds for divorce. Yeah, I think it's grounds for maybe talking about it and saying, all right, I'm okay with, like, just, just speaking you out. You've got to then, communicate. Yeah, exactly. He was transparent about being a parent to many kids, yeah. so you need to talk about it a bit yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Transparent. That makes very perfect sense. Yeah. Um, let's leave it there, I guess, for La Bufana. Yeah. La Bufana. La, La Bufana or La yeah. Bufano? Bufana. Ah, ah, she's, a, she's a lady, she's a baby. Uh, of course, of course. All right, I'm going to go next to this one. And this one is going to come from, it's going to come from four. I had to look up their names. Piper, Phoebe, ah. Paige, and Prue. The, the whole the, charmed crew. The, the whole charmed crew. crew yeah. Of which yeah. Hello, yeah. sisters. Yeah, hello, that's sisters. right. That's right. That's right. I oh, am oh. the sun. <laughs> I was actually we were watching the football and I was singing that song to, to my housemate. <laughs> Why? Why? Because we're talking about like Seven Heaven and Charmed, how they were oh, produced by the same great person. Shows. Yeah, Interesting th- conversations. Yeah, it was. And then I was like, I am the sun. Boys <laughs> like watching football talking about Charmed and Seven Heaven. <laughs> and then I was like, ah. <laughs> He's like, that's the immigrant song. <laughs> All right, let's leave it there. <laughs> okay, need the full conversation. <laughs> well, he wanted to know. The sister's charmed, right? Is speed dating a good idea? Okay, I'm trying to date again, but I haven't been asked out by any good dating candidates. They are too old and some of them have bad intentions, so I'm trying to find someone that I'm comfortable with. I have a tight schedule, I work full-time and go to school, so I don't have much time to socialize and not many friends since all I do is work and go to school since I moved back to California. I also recently got out of an awful relationship that was me- that was for many years, and I'm ready to see what's out there, but I can't seem to get asked out by anyone I could really like. I'm trying to keep an open mind, and I'm, I think I am attractive enough, nice, and smart enough for men to want to go out with me, but I'm not being asked by anyone good. So I thought maybe speed dating would be a good idea to meet people. Has anyone tried it and had a good outcome? Are there really good men out there in the speed dating world? Any other ideas to meet people? Also, I don't believe in soulmates or that there is a special guy out there for me. I think most occurrences in people's lives happen by choices we make, not so much by chance. So I don't really believe that when I least expect it, the perfect guy will show up. Thanks. The sister's charmed. <laughs> the sister's charmed. Well, you, one of your housemates <laughs> yep. has been to speed dating. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Should... His name badge is still on the door. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it's from. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I want to quiz him about it because I don't know enough about the speed dating world. Has anybody here else been I've, on speed I've dating? I've never speed dated. No, I haven't. Oh, I wonder if we can ask him some questions. Yeah, we can ask him questions. See if he's right. interested. Hang on. Hey, Marcus, Marcus's housemate, uh, Jack, is here. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Jack. So Jack's been on a speed dating experience and we want to know, yeah. I guess, what it was like. Is it? Is it? Uh, is there anything interesting to report on it, I guess? It's like real life Tinder. So if right, you're aware okay. of how that works. What yeah. was the setup for your one? Just swiping them in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real, bitch. I'll touch her. She won't go away. She won't go away. <laughs> Can I super like her? No, you can't That's happen. where you swipe up. It's <laughs> <laughs> even up a cut. That's, oh, boy. <laughs> That's assault, brother. Oh, boy. Uh, no, so the setup is all the guys have their set spots in the room, and every four minutes the host rings a bell, and the girls get up and move one spot. Um and the idea is that you've got a sheet of paper in front of you and you write down everybody's names and you basically circle yes or no, like I like them or I don't. Okay. Right. Same as Tinder. End of the night, you hand in your uh, 
you hand in your sheet to the to the host, and over the next couple of days, you receive an email oh. showing your matches. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's not like you don't actually you sort of exchange numbers with them in the flesh. No, okay. No, it's all aggregated. Oh, okay. by, by the host. It's kind of like a non confrontational way where nobody gets hurt. No one's public, essentially, yeah. People right? People can still get hurt because just like Tinder, I messaged all my matches and got no responses. Oh, oh no, really? really? True story. So, but we matched according to this image. Yeah. Like, yeah. Same thing happens on Tinder, so I don't know. Wouldn't it be better to, like, in the moment, I think you'd have more of a chance to put it out there, say, let me get your number. 